without a doubt, the most important thing for your chickens during the winter months is constant access to water that isn't frozen. And this can be hard for a lot of people because for a lot of people, within an hour of them pouring their water, it's just a frozen block of water at that point. So what are some of the things we can do with or without electricity to keep our chicken water from freezing? Today I'm gonna to show you. Let's start off by talking about a couple things you don't need any electricity for whatsoever. And the first one is gonna be a salt water bottle. With this bottle, we filled it about this much with salt and the rest with water, so it's a pretty salty water bottle. And what happens is salt water freezes at a much lower temperature than normal water does. So if you have a salt water bottle, it's gonna reduce the temperature that your bowl in general needs to get to in order to freeze. Now obviously this isn't gonna make a massive difference but let's say you normally freeze at 32 degrees Fahrenheit. This might let you go down to 31, maybe 30 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's not gonna make a huge difference, but if you live somewhere that doesn't get super cold, this could definitely help you out. If anything, what this can do is it's gonna extend the amount of time that it takes for your water bowl to freeze. So let's say normally during the winter, you come out to your chicken coop twice a day because your bowl keeps freezing. This might make it to where you can come out once a day instead of twice a day, which can definitely be helpful. Now the next method we're gonna talk about is ping pong balls. And ping pong balls aren't just for ping pong or beer pong. Ping pong balls can actually help with another thing. It can break the surface tension of the water. So where does water freeze first? It's gonna freeze right at the very top, right? So if you have ping pong balls in here that are kind of catching the wind, they're making the water bounce, it's gonna break that water up a little bit and it's gonna take it longer to freeze. Once again, like the water bottle, this isn't gonna be one that you can have in negative 20 degree weather and really have it do a whole lot for you. But this is something that if you're down in the high 20s, low 30s, this can definitely help you out or at least extend the amount of time that your water is sitting outside before it starts to freeze. Next up, we have one that I haven't personally use but I've seen a lot of people use it with really good success and that is taking one of these rubber bowls normally one that's a little bit bigger than this these rubber bowls are pretty well insulated much more than the plastic one that I'm using over there and you take an old tire you stuff it full of straw or bedding or something that will give insulation and you stick this in the middle of it and you pack that straw all the way around it so you're creating a big insulation barrier around the bowl inside that tire and then you fill it with water and that's gonna make it last a little bit longer than it normally would in freezing temperature what I've also seen people do is they take those cheap little greenhouses that you can get on Amazon, they cut a little chicken door in it and they put it inside their run. So what this is gonna do is it's gonna keep that temperature inside that greenhouse just a few degrees warmer than it is outside. So then you put your water inside that greenhouse, the chickens go into the greenhouse where they can get that water that's not frozen. So that's another option, but that's a little bit of a pricier option. And besides that, the main way that you're gonna keep liquid water outside during the winter months is going out there and dumping it, refilling it, dumping it. And what we normally do is before we got our, our water heater is we would go, come over to the, the chicken run at night and we would dump the water out. So that way in the morning, it wasn't a block of ice. And in the morning we'd come out, we'd fill it up. And then about halfway through the day, we'd come back out and we would dump some warm water into that bowl. So that way it will kind of melt whatever ice there is there and extend it into the evening time when we can come back out and dump it. So it takes us coming outside three times a day to keep that water liquid. During the winter, they really need that water to stay healthy and to keep from freezing. But if your chicken coop has electricity, or if your chicken coop is close enough to your house that you can run an extension cord like we have here, it makes life a whole lot easier for you and I'm gonna show you why. Hey, real quick, if you're enjoying this video, do me a huge favor. Go down, hit the like button and consider subscribing to my channel. What this does, it tells YouTube that you enjoyed this video and then hopefully if I'm lucky, YouTube sends it out to other people who might also enjoy this video. Thank you, I appreciate it. Now, when you have electricity to your chicken coop, it gives you a lot of different options for chicken water heating. There are so many different things that are available to us that we we can just plug right in and it gives us liquid water nonstop for our chickens. The first one we can talk about is a nice cheap and easy one and this is going to be a dog bowl. They have heated dog bowls. They've had heated dog bowls for a very long time. You plug the dog bowl in, it keeps that water liquid and chickens really do enjoy being able to stick their beak in into water and, and this is where a lot of people during the winter months they will use a heater on their chicken nipple little setup. I will show you here in just a minute because that's what we have. So we use kind of a combination of the chip and chicken nipple nipple, chicken nipple, chicken nipple drinkers. We use a combination between that and then just a normal bowl that gives them kind of both options to peck at it or stick their whole head in. And the dog bowls are also gonna be extremely helpful if you have ducks. Ducks really, really need to be able to stick their whole head in, sometimes even jump into the bowl. If you've ever had ducks, you fully understand how 
much they kick around and make a mess and splash around all over the place. They really do need that, that open area of water and a heated dog bowl is gonna be perfect for that. The next one we can quickly touch on is fish tank heaters. You can take a fish tank heater, you can put it in your water bowl and it's gonna keep that water from freezing. Just like a fish tank heater will bring a fish tank water up to temperature, especially if you have tropical fish. This is gonna do the same thing. A lot of those fish tank heaters, you can just plug in, put it in your water bowl and it's gonna keep it from freezing. Now, I'm not somebody that would go out and spend money on a fish tank heater just for my chickens, but if you're somebody that's already into fish tanks and that's something you already have and you already do, why go spend money on something else that's gonna do the exact same thing for your chickens? Use that fish tank heater, it's gonna work perfectly for you. The next one we'll talk about is heated chicken waters. You can get onto any store, any chicken store, any you can get onto Amazon, anywhere, and just type in heated chicken drinker or heated chicken water, and you're gonna find so many different variations of heated chicken waters that are specifically designed for your chickens during the winter to keep your water from freezing. Now these can range in price by quite a bit, so it really depends on what you're willing to spend and what direction you wanna go with it. Everything that I've talked about so far in this video, I'm gonna leave links for various different versions of everything down in the description below. So if you're interested in seeing any of these, go down and check those out. But there are so many different variations and versions of chicken, chicken water heaters, chicken water, things that keep your chicken water from freezing. So many different price points though, so that's definitely something to look into. Now let's head over to the coop where I can show you the one that we ended up landing on. And so far it's been my absolute favorite way of keeping the chicken water from freezing. It might be a little bit echoey. I had to close this coop door because it was, it was just so bright and sunny. I couldn't film anything. But we did a lot of research on what we wanted to use for our chicken water heater. And this is what we landed on. It is a heated base that can heat up any water you have. So for us, we have a chicken nipple drinker, like I talked about earlier, and we have it sitting on our heated base. So this water, even though it was, I think 15 degrees this morning, so it was really cold this morning, it is completely liquid water. It is not frozen whatsoever. So it gives them constant access to liquid water. And one really cool thing, so if we look at here, it's starting to warm up in here a little bit, but I've got my little, my little temperature gun here. And so if I point it at just something across the room over here, it's showing me that it is 15.8 degrees Fahrenheit, right? So it is, it is cold in here. It's really cold in here. But if I point it over here at the bucket, the bucket is showing me 42.1 degrees Fahrenheit. So there is a huge temperature difference between this water and everything else that's in this chicken coop. The water stays completely liquid, doesn't even get, come close to freezing. This thing is freaking amazing. You can put any kind of water on this. You just set it on the top. It's just a hot plate here, and it's not so hot that you can't touch it. Let me see if I can get this uh, water bucket off so I can give you a little bit closer look. It's just a little platform that we put our drinker on. It's not so hot that you can't touch it. It is just barely a little bit warm. Feels kind of nice on my hands out here. You put whatever drinker you have on this, and it's going to keep everything liquid. And there's no, there's no settings you need to change on it, nothing you need to worry about. All you need is a plug to plug it in. And we don't have power run to our chicken coop, so I had to run an, a, an extension cord to our chicken coop, but it works perfectly. We have no issues with it whatsoever. Whether you have electricity or no electricity to your coop, keeping your chicken's water from freezing during the winter is by far the most important thing you can do as a chicken tender during the winter months. They need that water, that constant access to water to keep themselves from freezing, to keep themselves warm, to stay hydrated and stay healthy. So do whatever you need to do in the situation you're in to keep that water from freezing.